Hey, it's Maximo and welcome to Maximo's Travels. Today, we're on the last video of our majestic Alaskan cruise. This video covers the last two sailing days on board the cruise. This video covers day six of our cruise where we sail up Glacier Bay and we're fortunate to see one of the glaciers carve. It also covers day seven where we sail up College Fjord and see so many spectacular glaciers and see some of the most spectacular scenery you're ever likely to witness. Join me. We recently took a seven night, eight day Alaskan cruise on the New Amsterdam by Holland America. This is the last video that I'll be doing of the cruise and it covers day six, Glacier Bay, day seven, College Fjord, plus some of the animals that we saw on our cruise. I'll cover the animals first. We had a number of great vantage points to check out the animals and just general views while we're sailing along. One of them was the Tamarind Bar. The other was the Crow's Nest. The first lot of animals that we saw were a couple of bald eagles. This is early on day three, just as we'd arrived in the port of Ketchikan. There were spectacular animals with a huge wingspan. We were privileged to see them. And you'll have to settle for my grainy photos, although are fast moving and very hard to video. As we were sailing along the inside passage of Alaska, we also saw some killer whales. I was able to take this footage of a killer whale surfing the bow wave of the ship. That was really spectacular and cool. We also saw otters, seals and whales, but unfortunately either we were too far away or the animals were too small, such as an otter, to be able to film or take photos of them effectively. We'd set sail from Skagway at 9pm the previous night. We sailed the 300 odd kilometres overnight and arrived at Glacier Bay at around about 9am the following morning. The ship had opened up the front of decks 5, 6 and 7 to enable passengers to get a bird's eye view of the glaciers. We went to the forward part of deck 5 which was convenient because we were staying on deck 5. It was bitterly cold and we're glad that we rugged up. The crew was also serving whiskies and warmed mulled wine to help all the passengers keep warm. It was utterly spectacular scenery. The deep green sea was contrasted with the grey of the hills and the white of the snow-capped mountains. It was quite overcast when we arrived and the mood was quite sombre, melancholy and dramatic. While there was quite a few icebergs and chunks of ice in the bay, it doesn't usually freeze over because of the action of wind and tide as well as the moderate sea temperatures. Glacier Bay is quite deep. It's over 1,000 feet or 300 meters deep in most of its length. We were fortunate that it wasn't raining when we visited. It rains about 70 inches per year or nearly two meters of rain. I was utterly amazed that the nature and the quality of light kept changing and made big differences to the landscape and set for a very moody and melodramatic scenic landscape. The first glacier that we visited was Marjorie Glacier. This is a massive and active tidewater glacier. It's approximately 21 miles long, one mile wide where it meets the sea and approximately 350 feet or 71 meters tall, including about 100 feet that's below the water level. It's so huge and majestic. I was even fortunate to see and capture on video the glacier carving or a big huge chunk of ice falling off.
That was such a rare and special event that I'll play it again in close up this time. What a special moment, considering that we are about two miles or at least three kilometers from the cliff face of the glacier. And you can't really see it probably, but huge waves and a huge splash was also generated by the carving. And the glacier moves around five feet or one and a half meters into the water each day. We spent about 45 minutes floating in front of Marjorie Great Glacier. It then moved and repositioned itself to be in front of the Grand Pacific Glacier. The Grand Pacific Glacier is even bigger than the Marjorie Glacier. It's around 2 miles or 3,200 metres wide at its end. It averages 150 feet or 50 metres high at the ice face and over 60 feet or 20 metres deep below the waterline. The glacier is around 25 kilometres or 16 miles long. The glacier is also quite dirty. Avalanches, rock slides and tributary glaciers and the scouring of the valley have caused the accumulation of dirt on the rock on the glacier's surface. In all, the ship spent around about two and a half hours in front of the Marjorie and Grand Pacific glaciers. The ship set sail and then passed the John Hopkins Inlet and Glacier, Alampur Glacier. The whole time we were outside, there was a running commentary from the Glacier Bay Park Rangers about the native flora and fauna and the geology of the area. It was quite fascinating and it put everything into perspective for us. Many of you are likely already experiencing one or more of these impacts. Climate change is a global issue that is affecting those worldwide, and Alaska and Glacier Bay are no exception. We travelled through the afternoon and overnight to our next destination, which is College Fjord. This is around 950 kilometres or nearly 600 miles away. The next day. We left Glacier Bay and sailed into the Gulf of Alaska and the Pacific Ocean. As soon as we did that, the skies cleared up and there was a spectacular sunny day with bright blue skies. We took the opportunity to have a couple of drinks and enjoy the vitamin D from the sun on the rear of the Lido deck. It was nicely sheltered from the wind.
one of the reasons that we chose our Holland America cruise was because they got to go to both College Fjord as well as Glacier Bay. And boy, we weren't disappointed. College Fjord just had so many spectacular glaciers. It was a spectacular, glorious day bright blue skies and makes such a difference compared to the overcast conditions that we got on Glacier Bay. It was also significantly warmer. I do hope you liked this video. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notify bell so you'll never miss another upcoming video. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying me a coffee or smashing that super thanks button. This video is the last of our Alaskan cruise series. I do hope you've enjoyed them. Look out for next week's video which will cover the spectacular train ride from Whittier to Anchorage. Until next time, you take care and bye now.